Hey everybody, it's Eric from the Mature Minded Gamers. Today we're going to show you how to set up your very own Starbound dedicated server. This is going to be covering Windows. Started. The first thing you need to do is download Steam CMD. You can just type that into your browser and whatever your search one is. I always recommend Google. Just hit enter. It's going to be your top result right here. Click on that. Then you'll see the Windows client right here. Click on that. And right here where it says download Steam CMD for Windows, Final click and then this hit save file, hit OK. It's going to download right up here and wherever your downloads go. You just need to find that, open it, it's going to be a zip folder. You want to right click on it and hit extract all. I recommend putting it someplace you're going to remember where it's at. I always put mine directly onto my storage drive. So if you are just if you just have a C drive, I would extract that folder into its own folder on your C drive. So like mine, for example, on my C drive right here, Steam CMD. And once you open it up, you're only going to have one file than that, steamcmd.exe. Go ahead and double click on that to execute it. It's going to fill this folder up for you and download some files and then eventually get to a prompt like this. You do need to log in to download the Starbound servers. You can't do this anonymously. So you need to type in login, hit um, space, and then whatever your Steam username is that has access to Starbound. I've already logged in, so that's why you didn't see me see it prompt me but when you type login space and then your steam username um, it will then prompt you for a password and then you need to type in your steam password and then it will let you log in and you'll be looking at a prompt like this and then you need to type in app underscore update five three three eight three zero and you hit enter and that's going to go ahead and download all the server files for you. It's actually not very large, so it should, shouldn't take too long. And then once it's done, you'll you'll be at a prompt like this. Mine had already did it, so you didn't get to see it downloading. But uh, And then once you got that, you just type in exit and you exit out of that window. Next thing you want to do is you want to go back to your Steam CMD folder that you got. And you want to look for Steam apps, then common, starbound, dedicated server. Should be the files you just downloaded. And the first thing we're going to do is go into the Win64. You should have a starbound underscore server.exe. Go ahead and execute that. It shouldn't take too long. Um, it's going to create a world for you and make some files that you need. Once it's done, it's going to be at a prompt that shows your T TCP connections and an IP address or a port down here at the end. That's when you know it's done. Then you just click on the window again and hit Control and C together. And that's going to shut the server down properly. Now you want to go back out one and then go into storage. All right, you want to open this. I recommend Notepad++. It's free. You get it open, you're going to see I've made some changes here. So things I'd recommend is allowing admin commands to be um, put to true if you are interested in that. If you don't think you're going to use admin com commands, to make that false. It's just going to make it more secure. Allow admin commands from anyone. Definitely make that one false. Uh, anonymous connections. This is if you want anybody to be able to connect or not. I do not. I want this to be more of a private server. So I put that at false. You can put it at true if you want it to be like a public server. Allow asset mismatch. I would put this at false. I've ran into weird issues with people not being able to join um, when that's set to true. Allow anonymous connections as admin. I'd make that false. This is where you can ban by IP or UIDS. User IDs. Um, all the rest of this I would leave set except when you get down to client IP joinable. Make sure you set that to true since this is a dedicated server. Um, client PB point to point, this is if it's not a dedicated server. Um, you can leave them both true and it's, it's fine, it's not going to hurt anything. Then come on down here to your game server port. 21025 is the default port. I would leave that. Um, set unless you need to change it like you have another game using that port or something else then you can change it right here so make sure you open that port in your firewall and router otherwise people are not going to be able to connect uh, max player size all this stuff it kind of explains itself to you down here um, you do want to make sure you set an archon server password you don't want it to leave it default otherwise other people can disconnect to your server changes and down here your server name obviously pretty important and the next now if you want it to be a private server with usernames and passwords like I have set up um, so only your friends can join you want to come right here and this isn't going to be filled in for you but what I'm going to do is I've actually saved this file on my website so if you come to maturemightygamers.com when you come to the 
to the main page, it's going to look like this. This is our gaming website. Definitely check it out, and I hope you join. Um, you can join our Discord by clicking right here. But um, what you're after right now is to click on server files right here. I have different files here from different servers I made, but this one I'm working on is called Starbound. Um, I do ask, though, if you use my files, that you please do hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Um, that helps me. Um, you can do right here to subscribe to my Twitch channel, which is a big help for me. And this one's my YouTube channel. Please consider doing one of them or both if you're going to use my files. Um, but, and once you have that done, just click on Starbound. This is going to take you to my Dropbox account. You don't actually have to create an account. You can hit No Thanks. Then hit this Download button. Save to my Dropbox or Direct Download. I recommend probably Direct Download right now. And then you're going to see here's the file. This is my config file, star, Starbound uh, Server Config. And hit Save As. Server Files right here. All right, once you get that file downloaded, Go into wherever it saves at your downloads folder most likely and you want to right click on it and you want to hit copy then what you're going to do is go back to your local steam cmd steam apps common starbound dedicated server win64 wherever and then right here to storage see i've already done this but you should see your starbound server config Right click, click on that, type in original like I done right here to rename it, and then right click and hit paste. This will paste my downloaded config file in here for you. We'll have the one that I put in here. Then all you have to do is go into edit again and change everything that's set to change me, the in green right here, to your personal settings. So whatever you want your username to be and the password for that login and everything like that. Archon password, just make sure you change all these and set them to, to be customized for yourself. Then make sure you hit File and Save to save all the changes. Once you get that saved, you need to go back to your Starbound dedicated server, Win4, and actually execute the server. So just double click on it to run. And once it gets finished, you should be able to join. Let me show you how that works here. All right, then you just load the game up here. I'm going to show you how to join, hit join game, character, and put in whatever you set for your name right here and your password right here for that character. This is your external IP address for the server that's hosting the dedicated uh, server. Then you hit join. It loads you in. You're now connecting to your very own dedicated server. One more thing I'm going to show you real quick you are having issues connecting and getting weird error messages right here, go into your options and hit a check marker here where it says allow asset mismatch connect by IP make sure the actually just make sure all these are checked obviously it should hopefully help you Except, then try to connect and hopefully it'll alright I hope this video helped you guys and have any questions please join my discord and ask me on there i keep it up and active quite often or uh, leave me a comment here in the video and i will try to assist you the best that i can thanks for watching and have yourself a great day